Hey, Julie, the city cleared Hillco to move forward with demolition at 630 this morning, and they did just that. But it was met with some protests. We had demonstrators out here this morning who were hoping to be loud enough to put an end to this. About two dozen people gathered together outside the old Crawford power plant in an effort to stop today's planned demolition. While it didn't keep crews from breaking down the building, it was enough to stop traffic on Pulaski near 36th Street. This cell phone video shows a semi truck driver confronting protesters in the middle of the road. He was so angry that he shoved one man in the face. I'm appalled. I'm exhausted from fighting from this. Um, and it's it's not just that um, we have to keep fighting for the right to breathe. The group was out here expressing concerns about the demolition. They're frustrated that this is moving forward in the middle of a pandemic. It's also heartbreaking that little kids and families have to come out here at 6 a.m. to fight for something that should have been stopped a long time ago. In early April, a 145 foot smokestack was demolished in the Little Village neighborhood, spreading a huge plume of brown dust over the area. It caused a serious health concern as COVID-19 was rapidly spreading across the city. I could feel the dust coming inside my house. I was sweeping up that stuff off of my porch, off of my windows. So I can't even imagine the people that were out there when all this happened. Mayor Lightfoot postponed the demolition, but now it's back on schedule. She says the building could collapse at any time and poses a serious danger. This time, the contractor used plenty of water to ensure another cloud of dust didn't engulf the neighborhood. But protesters question why the demolition is so necessary right now. They're going to go through with it. Why can't they go through it in October, November? Why now through a pandemic? The truck driver involved in that confrontation that was caught on video was driving a Sunbelt rental truck. I did reach out to that company for comment, but have not heard back from them. Reporting live in Little Village, I'm Kelly Davis, WGN News.